All right, uh, it's the rundown. It is um, March, what, 17th? 16th. 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 Tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day. Won't be great St. Patrick's Day unless Dana gets his hands on it. Um, <laughs> in which case, it will. He'll bring the city together, bring all the people out. Everyone Flash has, mob Dana. Yeah, flash mob Dana. Everybody gets one sip from Dana's beer. Zillion beers, zillion handshakes, zillion germs. <laughs> Dana will bring... Dana's going to expedite this thing. Yeah. Like, everyone's going to get corona if Dana can get his way, and they'll get it fast and get over with quick. He did send me an email being like, apologize. Didn't mean to, like, seem like I didn't know what was going on. His company line is he, he didn't realize corona was serious. That just can't be true. <laughs> it just can't. It can't. It's an important thing at the moment. It, yeah. it's, it's literally, you. I don't care where you are, you can't. Remember that mat, the match picture that's going around? Yeah. Like the one that stayed away? Dane is just a blowtorch and being like, yeah, nope. I, I think you almost got to lean into it. His, his I didn't realize Corona was a big deal this weekend is. It, now, in his defense, and there's not much to defend, but in his defense, he has been pretty much drunk for a month. True. Like he's a drunk person all the time. But even being drunk, I don't like. It's tough not to know what's going he on. Also, the biggest also crisis his, maybe in the history his, of the country. His mentions are like all zillion beers. Yeah, so yeah. for him, it's just been one big party. I, I did see some people being like, hey, zillion beers guy, maybe don't like encourage massive gatherings where everyone chugs beer and like kisses and hugs and creates a virus that is un a super virus, mm -hmm. a zillion beer super virus. Anyways. So yeah, the, the history books will show that. They'll be like, there was a super strain of the virus that started in Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Manscaped. And he does feel bad, but, I mean, it's tough to really feel bad for him feeling bad. <laughs> um, Manscaped. Support for the rundown is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-belt grooming. St. Patty's Day is tomorrow, so there's no better time to invest in the proper tools to get lucky. The, well, hopefully you're uh, already the person you get lucky with is pro hopefully with you because if not, you're not going to meet anybody out. Uh, at least you shouldn't. The Manscaped engineering team spent 18 months perfect perfecting the greatest ball hair trimmer ever created. Just released their new and improved Lawnmower 3.0. Their third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to prevent manscaping accidents. Millions of balls are about to be... <laughs> Nick Free, thanks to Manscaped, skin safe technology. I almost feel like you should have read this ball. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm good at Ed Reads. So I was a good reader in high school, textbooks. Attaboy, boss. You were a good reader? Oh, great. Class reader. Out, really? Out loud. Fantastic. Yeah, I was always really good at that. The, the battery also lasts up to 90 minutes, so you can take a longer shave. One of the coolest features is the LED light, which illuminates grooming areas for a closer, more precise trimming. Plus, the charging stand is a rapid charging dock powered by USB. Trim that junk yours and get lucky. This St. Patty's Day, get 20% off and free shipping with code RUNDOWN at manscaped.com. That's 20% off, free shipping at manscaped.com, code RUNDOWN. Cheers to manscaping your lucky charms. Obviously, advertisers tough time for everybody, so any support you can give for our advertisers are appreciated. I just have one thing on the card. Corona. I the mean, C. Yep. the Rona. Yep, the Rona, the, the big, temporarily the big C. Cancer is the big C, but right now, obviously, strange times, boys, strange times. We are in a lockdown, so 8 o'clock curfew. Uh, bars, oh, Shake Shack. That's bars, bad, restaurants, clubs all shut down. I got a little bit of a doot to do. Mm -hmm. um, you but, were, some may say, the big T on Twitter. Was T. Triggered. Well, I don't think I've seen you tweet that much. I was getting mad. In a long time. Well. well you, were, you, were tweeting, you tweeted more on Saturday night than you, like in one yeah, confined yeah, yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got into it. So I posted a video, which, by the way, was I feel accurate, which is because Saturday, led by Dana, the entire world was out. Mm -hmm. Bars are busy, clubs are busy, and they're saying social distance. And my point was like, listen, if everybody's out, I'm not going to stay in if everyone's out. you got to either shut it off or turn it on, but people are going out. It's not doing anything, and I stand by that. We get young people. I'm going to say young people, I don't know, 42 and under. Uh, they're still going out. They don't give a fuck about this quarantine. Go on social media, St. Patrick's Day. we got people swapping spit, drinking out of each other's cans, dancing, laughing, having the time of their lives. In New York, I walked down the street, restaurants still fucking busy, packed. And now people get mad, be like, what the fuck? 
Are we trying to quarantine? Is this coronavirus a real thing? What the fuck's going on? I go to CVS today to buy uh, reduced bad Cheez-Its. Didn't have them. They did have one thing of toilet paper left. I fucking bought it. Don't even need toilet paper. Just fucking exhilarating to have something that's like gold. It's like, ah, I got toilet paper. Felt fucking great. I don't even know why I bought it. And some of my pictures actually, I think, were used in Boston. Like a pi picture I tweeted outside a selfie where lines are through the roof. And I do stand by, no problem with shutting it down. I think it's the right move. My point, and then I did. I got a, a dupe to do because- With the internet. Yeah, people like uh, were saying I, w I had to be responsible for people telling people not to Well, go you out. are a leader of men. I'm a leader of men, but I'm also just tell the truth. Right. But you could have been like, hey, everyone be, do, like, do the right thing. But I, I am a firm believer in I will not tell you to do what I'm not doing. Do you? I appreciate that. So and it's I, like I'm I not thought it was a little overblown because I also think there was an element that the messaging behind coronavirus wasn't fully clear until, like, I mean, it was clear, but to, to get through the heads of 20-year-old, 20, 20 25-year-olds, it's hard, and you need to, like, really hammer And, and also... You people can say whatever I want. If you allow bars, clubs, and restaurants to be open... They're going to open. And you then can't shame somebody for going to that bar. Do you think that I did... The one, only tweet that I thought was a little... Uh, you were uh, maybe wrong was when you're like, young people only think it... Or only think it affects old people. But that was what you were saying all week. I still think it primarily affects old people. Right, and sick but we got to like hammer like it affects everyone. Well, it affects everyone, right? It, because a young person catches it and most and will give it to an old person. I think Vin Dog's tweet actually was great because you. It's really when, when it comes down to it, like if you think about who is in your life, all you have to do is write down on a piece of paper. You can get to an old person or someone with an underlying condition very quickly. Correct, but right, it. it the young, it's not going to kill a young person, most likely. Most and that, likely. It, but a young person can't kill an old person. Correct. And their own grandmother and their own whatever. And you I feel actually, guilty forever that you went out on St. Patrick's Day and then that happened. Credit to me, I got my dad not to fly. Nice. I finally talked some sense Is he in Fort Lauderdale? They're in Florida. and he, they, they, So I called them up and I'm like, All right, what are you guys doing? Because I know my dad. He's just, I know him. He's like, we're taking very seriously. Went out for pizza last night. Just went out and got some bagels this morning. I'm like, that's exactly that's not serious at what all. <laughs> you are not supposed to be right. doing. And on the cousins, he kept saying repeatedly he wants to go home and just see his grandkids, which probably is not the best not thing to do. No, it's really, it's really bad. He should should be, like, have he's it. in his little old person bubble. He should he, stay he in his old person bubble. It. They don't get the it. The old thing to stay together it. right now. They don't get it. I, I, I keep touching my nose. So do you respect coronavirus now? Because you were very much not respecting it. Uh oh, oh no. No, 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 I, I, I've restrained myself. I, you know, there's a part of me that's like the fear is outweighing the virus to a degree. But, there absolutely is that. But, people, people are paralyzed with fear, which you can't do that. And I also, can't also think be smart. that could create problems in the sense of too many people showing up at the hospital, which yep. are already going to be Agreed. overcrowded Agreed. and bring the whole thing to a cities. Now. The you think flips. you have a tickle in your throat, and you're like, oh, got right. the C. And then you take someone away from who, right? and young people, a lot of them, who, who are just going to probably have it, get through it, don't need care, clogging the system. Now, the masters, I use them as my number one example. The masters don't give a fuck about anybody. They don't care, like, Hootie Blowfish or whoever that guy, remember the lady who tried to, like, like, we'll just go without commercial. They do not give a fuck. So if they're canceling <laughs> shit, what just happened you're to me? He's t you're talking about, what's the guy's name? Darius Rucker. No, no, no. No, he's from no, Hootie and the Blowfish. The actual, what is his name? Hootie. Hootie. Is President Hootie of the Masters is named Hootie? Well, I think he actually died. Yeah. But he oh, was right. the one when that woman <laughs> protested. That was awesome. She, she is that what the name is? Find the name. She protested, like, we're going to cause hell for you. Get all your advocate to boycott if you drink women. And he was just like, bam. William Woodward Ho Hootie Johnson. He <laughs> just turned around. Hootie blow I've never <laughs> seen anyone do what he did. When that he was, was great, Dave. Uh, like, I I'm fluent in Dave. <laughs> I was like, Hootie Blowfish, okay, yeah. I got I it. Mean, first that comes to but mind. they <laughs> ran it without commercials that year. They don't give it. So for them, everything's canceled. Clearly, there's something to it. 
obviously. It's a very serious well, thing, but I think it's more so old people, which matter, clearly, and I think it's going to bring down Idris Elba. Elba has it. Damn. Tom Hanks at Idris Elba? Everyone's going to get it. Yeah. See, this is part of the issue. It, and I know what you're going to say. You got flatten the curve. But I get flatten the curve. But if you announce with such no, pomp and circumstance every time somebody got the flu, you'd have the same issue going on. It's true. It's very much similar to, like, DeAndre Hopkins traded to the Cardinals. Idris Elba has it. it, it like, people are going to get it. We can't freak out every time. Obviously, we're at the point. Tons of people are going to get this thing. I really do think it affects. It's not like Paulie Short. So are you? So I guess it. my question is: So you're? I, I kind of am with you on pretty much all this. I, I guess really it comes down to like, the people who are now still saying this is absolutely nothing. Those people suck. Well, there's a no lot. political agenda. The, well, I will say there are people. You know what? You know people how are making no, it political. Suck. And you know why there's no political agenda with this? Because freaking. Ted Cruz and AOC are retweeting each other. And guess what? Tucker Carlson, your guy, he's, he's taking it very seriously. Yeah. It's been a remarkable week in the history of this country. Things have moved so fast that it's easy to forget that coronavirus as a story has been building for months. It's not new. Most people in the media were not paying attention. They are worrying about impeachment in Russia. Like, there, there's no I, right I or people, left right. here. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's affecting everybody. And I think the right, I've said from the beginning, and you know this, I've been saying it, and then you can't do it. It had to be federal, it had to be uniform, and everything has to be shut down but for the, two weeks. I guess, the, I guess the, the counter argument to that is they were hoping that they could basically have people show some type of like social awareness for their community Correct. so that you don't have to go And that the was there. the point of my thing. My, I, people are that, selfish. And, and, and you can be all that selfish. And they're like, they didn't do it in Italy. They didn't do it in Spain. It's, and everyone's like, the same exact thing. I thought we'd be different. Like, why? Humans We're are humans. We're in denial. We are in denial. Like, humans are humans. If you let them go out and party, they're going to do it. That wasn't rocket science. That was my point. You have to shut it down. And me knowing everything, if I see every fucking buddy out, I'm not going to be, like, the only one. Oh, I'm sitting here where I know there's an awesome part. Because I, I want it. I just yeah. want it. And you can hate me for it, but that's the truth. And what happened? Within 24 hours, everything was shut down. And it was kind of should be. I'm very excited about it, kind of. Just Did you go out any this weekend? I went to like a local bar Saturday. My friend's band played, so I went to that. Like I went to a dinner. I went. <laughs> That's to a, I like how you made that seem like, hey, it was pr it was pretty low key. Like I, went I went to, to a concert. I thought like I went to Marquee. <laughs> I didn't go to Marquee. I did. I, that was a peep. That. That's like a, you're getting credit for that. I shut down South Boston. I literally. do think. And, and that's why the people who are like, he's being an asshole, it's like, I did more by that than anybody oh, else. I absolutely think that this this weekend, people being assholes is actually going to help in the long run because, because it, it actually right. got people to right. wake up. And, and I like what he's saying in South Boston. I literally, when I did my whole thing, I put like a picture of the bar and that that picture was used by like the mayor to be like, we're shutting down South Boston. And it was after I like made it go viral by like, go, this is go. what I'm talking about. So all these people who are up my dick, and, and there was a guy from fucking DraftKings who just hates me, said I was like hell or something. Fuck him. Yeah, it's like I really didn't, s I just said what was happening in the mindset of people. And it's a fact, and that's what it is. And that young people, 42 and younger, are gonna go out. Yes. 42 included. I had a lot of subtle jokes in there. I am buying toilet paper, and it's a thrill. <laughs> the toilet paper thing makes no sense. When I see toilet paper, yeah, I, I did just... it today. I did it this morning. I went to the grocery store this morning. Got some toilet paper. Yeah, I don't know. I have. Some... <laughs> I have. I don't need it. Apparently, like liquor and shit's gonna shut down too. Alcohol. My friend just called me. He works in an alcohol company. Well, we he... just heard that yeah. though. You could order now. Bars are allowed to yeah. deliver. Out. He, I don't he... even know what that means. He was warning me. Not, this is shows terribly terrible signs of me that he called me specifically to let me know to stock up on liquor but he said that if all the bars are shut down and everything is shut down eventually the liquor companies but, and the alcohol companies will stop making the alcohol but, but pete said now you could call a local bar and they can deliver it to you yeah which i don't understand what that means they're going to give you a bottle but i'm saying like once that is out like let's say what Gino, are they going to charge say, you for a bottle let's say they're not going to yeah. deliver you a drink but like let's say in a month all that alcohol is gone, or are the alcohol people still going to keep making alcohol? Right. I, I, I <laughs> actually... The important questions. That, that, honestly, this person wrote in my group chat and then called me 10 minutes later specifically to know that I had that information because I need to stop that. You know, this the is, whole thing is... I need it's, it. there, I think, And I'm for the shutdown, and I don't know any way around it, obviously, by... Uh, we're going to go with the If experts. they shut down, will you keep coming to the office? 
We'll shut down the second they say this. This, this yeah. I'm not. I'll follow any rule that they make. I will follow. My thing, like Frankie's talking, is dad. I don't know. Like business owners, like the. No, it's gonna be a really big problem. Huge. They need to. I mean, the only way that to solve it is they're gonna need to do, like mortgage and lease freezes. It's crazy. It's like because you can't people, just if you're a small business, you can't just be like, all right, a month I gotta pay all no, my bills. No, most of these bars and restaurants yeah. they. They can't make it two weeks. Yeah, so that's crazy. I mean, the school thing's crazy because it's like all these people who are. I, it's crazy. There's so many deeper issues. And I, again, you got to do what you got to do to shut it down. I, you, we just got to believe. That's my. That's where I'm at with it. That's really it. There can't be all these people all on the same same page. Sport leagues, politicians, unless. The right. truth is there. That's why. That's where I basically. Wednesday night was when my brain shifted. When it was like, okay, the NBA, the MLB, like these guys, all they want to do is make money, and they're saying that right. they can't. Right. That should tell right. you everything. It, it, I, I will say, I think the one messaging, and people are still saying this different. I've done all the reading, all the research. I still primarily ninety-five percent, ninety-nine percent. It's elderly in in immune system impaired already, which is a large part, so I'm not downplaying it. But, like, to get through to my dad, I, I'm i almost seeing a mush of the message where it really should be like, hey, old people, you should not be going fucking no. anywhere. No, and the young people shouldn't go anywhere because if you do, then See the healthcare person. system but is going to... But how do you... Like, in like, Italy, they're choosing. They, they aren't treating some of the older people. True. But now, again, Italy, why Italy's probably the worst is because they're the oldest culture to begin with. And their culture also is that the extended families live together. So, yeah. very, it's, it, again, it's going to be bad here, but it is different circumstances. I'll also say, I don't know how you reach the old people, because they ain't on social media. It's a good question. It relies on the young Like my to dad, I think that's, my, he's a little bit. I think we need to send mailers, like yeah, coupons. Yeah, like honestly, because that's who it's going yeah. after. And like, t social media, Twitter, I mean, it, you see one thread, one person in the world, and people react like this is... Like someone told an it's Italy true. story that is like 20 oh, things. Oh, it's crazy. Like I've read so many threads. Per, right. I've read so many threads. And then it goes nuts and spirals, but... Maybe that's what we do. So it's like in Florida, you got to send coupons out, like uh, free you know, loaf of bread at Publix if you stay in your house for three weeks. <laughs> Seriously. Like that, they'll do that for that. I know. Because I, that is really... The, oh, like I've seen old people out. And it's like, what are you doing out? Yeah. Like what are you doing outside? It's crazy. So we're going to, I'm not, I think I'm not going to come back in. We're going to do remote radio. Ron and I are going to be doing remote. You're going to be in here. I'm going to come in to do uh, Stock Central still. We'll see what happens. I'll go as long. Obviously, it seems like we're moving to a total shutdown. So I. So maybe old school Skypes? Yeah, well, we'll do rundown, rundown Skypes. Yep, yep that'll absolutely. be fun. Everyone loves it. Yep. Um, and really, that's it. We're pretty well poised. I mean, outside of people want to do radio in here, but we can do it outside. And everything else we can kind of do. I bought uh, about six hundred dollars worth of old school video games last night. Xbox 360, NCAA 14, 12, Denard Robinson on the cover of the 14. Uh, college basketball. I'm gonna do nice. it all. Any non sports? I mean, no, I just really just. I, I, people keep sending me this this their bracket that they're playing on video games. I couldn't handle it anymore. I was like, I need it. I. Uh... I keep buying like boxes and boxes of cheeses and eating them all before nightfall. I just yep. ordered a ton of frozen pizzas because pizza places are going down, so I'll do frozen pizza reviews. Um, That's Carbone good. just alerted me, that very popular restaurant. I had a notification. I, I just got accepted for Thursday at 7 p.m. tonight. That. That's exciting. I get exciting. that every day. I've had this place, Fall Charles Prime Rib, on my uh, phone. Yep, same. Uh, every day. They're, they email Suddenly me at midnight. Email me at midnight, like, oh, you've got a table for it at 12.15 in the morning if you want in. Yeah. And now, with the coronavirus, I'm getting 5 p.m. and 11.45. Well, I, so you're going to go? Well, no, I don't open. think they're open, they're, so I don't think I can do it. Restaurants are shut down, but restaurants that you'd like to get into are now available, but they are not open. Have you ever gone to this Pearl mm. Charles primary? I place? have. I think it's overrated. You went and you didn't bring me? Yeah. If you ever go you back, can you, you bring me? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know who told me about that place? Fucking gas. If you ever go again, can you bring me? Yeah, I, I, I thought go. it was overrated, Glennie. I've had the, well, they have the I, same I'm burger as all Cheval. I know. Just for the record, Wait, do you think that's a date spot? Yeah, 100%. Right. That was why you are didn't like, get the are invite. Are like meat spots a date spot? I guess this, so. This is most mean? definitely a like date it's spot. Like a, I think it's like a huge, like, um, It could be old boy. It could, yeah. No, it could, it's a date spot. It could also be, like, two, like, billionaire, like, CEOs, like, mm -hmm. talking about acquiring cut. It's not a Glenny Balls and a nah. Fortnite spot. By the way. Unless Shake Shack goes through the roof. 
By the way, how about what, what about Trump and Google? What a power move. Art of the deal. Google is helping to develop a website. It's going to be very quickly done, unlike websites of the past, to determine whether a test is warranted and to facilitate testing at a nearby convenient location. Google has uh, 1,700 engineers working on this right now. Yeah. When he just said, uh, he, Google's making me a website, and Google's like, no, we're not. And then 24 hours later, like, yeah, I guess we are. Yeah. That's, a that's how you negotiate. That's it right there. And then you just had that paper, piece of paper. paper it flicked. was just the tweets from Google being like, we're going to make it. I don't know where the press got their fake news, but they got it someplace. But as you know, this is from Google. They put out a release, and uh, you guys can figure it out yourselves. Part of the deal. Just say it. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fucking it's weird world, man. I'm, it's crazy man. times. It's I'm crazy. just getting. I get so. I, I think I'll be okay once we get past when March Madness should be, because I really was on Saturday. I think you responded to that tweet. Stop. Yeah. Like 12:30, I was like, I should be watching the semifinals yeah. of the Big Ten. Yeah. I mean, there's two months of this. I'd also brutal, maybe man. shouldn't have jumped into the market at this time. I don't. Should have said. Should have frowned there. No, that's the I end. That's frowned. the end. The DMP uh, 500 closed for the day. Uh, I'm down about, I think, quarter mil. Uh, Glenny invested in Shake Shack because invest in what you know. When he's down a, about ten. For dollars. Guy, ten dollars. Uh, it went downhill with you when you ordered Shake Shack and then you crucified them for their cheese being all over the bag. And uh, I bought a lot of pen today. And but the good thing about day trading is we'll be back tomorrow. The DMP 500 will reopen tomorrow night a.m. Are we still? I at think we're gonna go a little a lower. Eight. It keeps going. Uh, large, what's Penn at right now? Uh, you're at 925. How about the shaft? Everyone shut up about Penn, too. I hate these people tweeting me being like, oh, sweet stock, dude. The whole fucking market's The tanking. country is about to... No, I'm... <laughs> I think that's what I bought it at. Damn. Yeah, I, I, can't you guys buy the... What is it called? A put? Can you buy a put? Everyone says, I don't know what puts are. Shouldn't you, you be let's, buying puts? You see, we put in a stud that, that we have our own exchange, nice. the bell nice. there. Glenny. I need to get in. I need to. I just Glenny's have to set up my bell e I really want the ticker. The I think the ticker would look great. I, want, I need you to get the ticker. He uh, he tried to get me in Shake Shack, and then he fucking they delivered his burger, the cheese, all over the place, and he trashed them. I didn't trash them. I just simply brought it up that you shouldn't treat your owners like that. But nonetheless, I'm still in on it, and I'm excited. The burger was good. Got the uh, the uh, one with the cherry peppers. It was great. Okay. Go long on Shake Shack, no, quarter in the balls. But honestly, I didn't realize, which is a tough thing to think about, that there won't be a dinner spike because the market closes. So, yeah. Damn, so, yeah. I just <laughs> so, realized that too. I mean, I, I, honestly did, I honestly didn't realize. I thought like, oh, market maybe like tonight, at four, maybe like tonight at like 10 o'clock when it's lunchtime on the West Coast, 10 o'clock here. People are going to be delivering oh, stuff. Glenny, I thought you it got would jump high, and then I realized, wait. Do they have Shake Shack in England? It closes at 4. I don't think they have Shake Shack. Well, Damn. but the 4 would be lunch on the West Coast. That's true. But are they getting in and out Burger out there? Yeah, you're going to get done Shake Shack in and out People overrate that argument. It's not the same thing. Yeah, in and outs better. I don't think so. I mean, I think Shake Shack's a little more higher class than in and out That's the thing. in and out is a fast food burger. There's, like, drive through in and outs There's no drive through Shake Shacks. Shake Shack's, like, 19 bucks. in and outs like, 9 well, Shake Shack's in New York. You're See, this guy with, knows. That's what Lars burgers. says. Yeah, buy what you know. It's not, exactly. Buy what you know. I got to buy that. I got to... Uh, Jordan tweeted at me that Steak and Shake is the thing. I don't know if that's on... Who? Jordan Berry, JB. Okay. She tweeted at me that we should buy Steak and Shake. I don't know if Steak and Shake they is on bacon. the market. Yeah, Steak Shake is great, but you can't go to Steak and Shake. That's like a sit-down place, so they're kind of yeah. screwed. I mean, they, they just filed for bankruptcy. What yeah. did you think about my idea, by the way, about the uh, hidden sports games? That should happen for what a future pandemic. My idea is every year, every single team has to play one secret game and sign an NDA. I like Could that. Could you imagine right now if we had, like, Ken Griffey in his prime? That would like, be hey, unbelievable. Like, 1997, we have a Mariners game. Yeah. Just throw it out there. Never, never been watched. I like that. I thought if we had, like, it would have to be honor system, almost like Seinfeld, but, like, a stain meter. Like, just how many, because I kept getting, I just sit on my couch and get stains all over, eating yeah. food. So every time guy. you get a stain mm -hmm. on, you just click a meter, and it's like a chart, like almost, you know, the squirt gun races with everyone with their stain chart. They bet it, yeah. Yeah. 
I went four and zero on I know, UFC. Well, you're Sergeant Stains. Oh, dude, I got. Yeah. I, I'm in a bad way, but actually, I got I got a big stain this weekend on this uh, Barstool St. Patrick's Day sweatshirt. Oh no. Got it out. How bad? <laughs> Buddy, it was bad. <laughs> it was, you actually, the balls actually is set up perfectly. He fucking lives with you. Your mom's just gonna take care yeah, of you. Yeah, she got the stains out. It was nice. Of course, I don't she know. Did. I'm trying to think of what I could do though. I you have wanna, the best. I kind of yeah, want he's to not even supposed to see his parents, probably. Yeah. Because no, they're, they're young. They're, a old, they're like fifty, like mid fifties. My parent, my dad, and my mom thinking like they're not in the old demo is crazy. 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 Mr. Portnoy, you're old. And he refuses to accept. Did you see the tweet I said of what he did? Yeah, he went to the airport. He couldn't get, get he he wanted to change his flight on JetBlue. This is what this is maybe his all-time story because he didn't want to fly I because my nose I so told bad. him, don't be. My nose is itching. I don't want to touch my face. I'm sorry. Get him some Purell so he can touch his face. My dad, I convinced him to change his flight. So he calls JetBlue, can't get through to JetBlue, hops in the car and goes to the airport and waits in line at the airport for an hour and a half to speak with a teller to change the flight. And then goes home. Oh, he's he's like, so incredibly stupid. Oh, fuck, man. Come on, Mike Portnoy, we can't lose you. That type of behavior is just... What is he doing? He's just so stupid. Ian Dana. And then I talked to my mom. She's like, I was, I, I left him for one minute to go golf in, <laughs> and this is what he does. It's like, oh my god. Fuck. Corona may just <laughs> actually like take one step into their house, turn around, and be like, no thanks. Yeah. Like, and be like, I want no part of these I, people. I'm gonna have to be here for two weeks <laughs> yeah. to get the job done. No I, way. I don't need to listen to these two old birds. <laughs> 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 <laughs>